friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawns, Scootin' By, and Life is Good. So I've stamped out my images in jet black ink on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. So I'm starting with my bunny, and for her I'm using E50, E51, and E53. So I'll use that E53 first to lay in some shadows and define the edges of her body. And I'm going to have a central light source again on today's card, so their shading is going to be at their backs and the highlights in the center on their faces. Next I'm going to come in with E51 and just blend out the edge of the E53. Make sure that the color is all soft and ready for blending and that I have some nice uh, soft coloring and no harsh lines. So I'm just going to uh, continue going over the edge of that and leaving some space in the center for that highlight shade, which is the E50, so that's going to be my lightest. I'm going to leave a little white area around her nose and mouth, but I'll fill in all the rest with that E50. Then I felt like I needed a bit more contrast on her, so I'm going to go over her again with a second layer. I've had some questions recently about how I do the second layer of coloring, since I often do skip it in the video just to save time, but I thought I'd leave it in today just for her so that you could really see what I'm talking about. Just really quick and easy, coloring the exact same uh, colors again, right over top of the previous layer and it just makes that saturation level so much brighter and it also just smooths out any inconsistencies in the blend and I did use E50 for her belly and the inside of her ears. Now I'm going to move on to my fox and for him I'm using YR12, YR14, and YR18. This is my favorite Copic combo for foxes because it is that orange shade, but it has a bit of a brown tone in it, so it looks more natural than some of the brighter oranges that I used to use. Um, I really, really love this combo together. So I use the YR18 first to lay in his shadows, and as you can see, I'm just flipping where I'm putting them so that they're on his back. So they're mostly on the right-hand side, but a little bit on the left as well, just to create that really rounded appearance that lifts your images off the page and you know makes them almost come to life there. So once I have those darkest colors laid in, I'm going to blend out with the YR14 as my mid-tone and I'm saving some room for the YR12 to finish off his darker areas there. So I'll just continue filling in all of that white space and making sure to color over the edge of that YR14 so everything is nicely blended. I got a little orange on his belly where I did not want it, so I took my colorless blender and just pushed that back away from the white areas back inside the line. And then I'm going to color his belly and face and tail with YR000 just to add a little bit of shading there. And then I'll move on to R11 and R20. I'll color in the bunny's nose with the R20, and then I'm going to do the insides of both of their ears with those two shades. And I'm also going to give them some rosy cheeks. So I use the R20 to do a little oval, and then I'm going around that with the R11. I use W1 to add a tiny bit of shading to the bunny's tail and also to the inside rims of the scooter's wheels. And then for the bunny's scooter, I wanted it to be bright red, so I'm using R24, R29, and R39. So I'm taking that R39 first and adding some uh, shadows on the underside of each of those sections, just making sure that 
uh, each of those sections will be defined. And then I'm gonna go over that with the R29. You probably could just get away with two shades in these areas because they are super thin, but you know me, I'm always extra. So <laughs> I had to squeeze all three in there. So I'm gonna bring in the R24 for the highlight. And I'm going to put that on the front of the front piece because that's where my light source is in the center there and then on the top of all of the pieces that are horizontal. For the Fox's scooter, I wanted to go with a teal blue, so I chose BG32, BG45, and BG49. So I'm shading it in the exact same way as the red scooter, but just flip-flopped uh, because my highlight is in the center once again. So using that BG49 for my darkest and then going over the edge of that with the BG45. And then the BG32 is going to be my highlight shade. This is a brand new marker. I just got this one in and I really love how it works with these other two shades. So I'm really pleased with it. I think this combo is going to be a new favorite. For the handlebars, I picked C3, C5, and C7. So I'm using the C7 at the bottom of both of them and then the C5 as the mid-tone and then filling in the top area with C3. For the trunks of my palm trees, I pulled out E55, E57, and E59 and I'm using that E59 as my darkest. On the one on the left, I'm gonna shade it on the left-hand side and then also add a little line underneath each section. And then on the one on the right, I'm gonna do it the opposite. Um, still shading on the bottom of each section, but also on the right-hand side so I can have one on each side of the card, kind of framing things in. And then I'll go over the edge of that with the E57 on both of those. And then I'll save the uh, E55 for that highlighted area. This time I'm just going to color straight down right over everything that I have done, um, softening up the, um, the darker lines with that shade in the highlighted area. Then for the tops of the palms, I'm going to use G40, G43, and G46. And this time I'm going to shade them both exactly the same, just adding that darkest shade, the G46, on the underside of each of those palm fronds. And then I'm going to come in with the G43 as my mid-tone. Now, these marker shades do have a wide separation between each one. There's um, not as bad between the G43 and the G46, but from the G43 to the G40, there is quite a step down. So I am going to do a second layer of these um, palm fronds off screen. I didn't want to waste time in the video, but um, just know that I did go over that a second time. So that G40, I'm just going to fill in the tops. And you can see that it doesn't really make a smooth transition between those shades. Um, but that second layer is going to really make a huge difference, which you can see right now. And then for the coconuts, I wanted kind of like a duller brown. So I picked E43, E44, and E47. And I just am shading them randomly. I did two of them on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. And that's just so I can place them at different areas on the card. Blended out with the E44 as my mid-tone and filled in with the E43. And then once I finish with that, I'm going to trim these images out with their matching dies. For my background, I've pulled out a whole bunch of Lawn Fawn cardstocks. I have Sticky Note, Fake Tan, Mermaid, Craft, and Storm Cloud. 
and I'm going to die cut various parts of my background with that. I die cut the sun out of fake tan cardstock and I'm going to use that to stamp my sentiment. I'm using Seize the Day from the On the Beach stamp set and stamping that in the same jet black ink that I used for my images. So then I will pop my card base in my Misty. I'm using a piece of sticky note cardstock and stamping in sunflower ink for the inside. And I'm going to do the smaller scooter and the sentiment that says just roll with it. These are from scooting by. And then once I have that stamped out, I'm going to add the little mouse. So I'll just get him placed just how I want him. And then pick him up with the door of my Misty. And I will stamp him down several times as well. I like to stamp at least three times with this sunflower ink just to make sure that even when it dries back that it still shows up well on this cardstock. I used another piece of sticky note cardstock to die cut the rest of my sunburst background and then I did the center out of the fake tan and then I did some craft cardstock and some mermaid cardstock using the stitched simple wavy borders and then the storm cloud using the simple stitch hillside borders. So I'm going to adhere my focal panel to my card front. It has all that great stitching detail with those sun rays. I went ahead and left the center sun popped in because then when I layer my fake tan sun over top, it'll just have a tiny bit more dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down in the center. And I stamped that sentiment really high up because I actually want to cover up most of that sun with my mermaid ocean. So I'm going to just bring that right below the sentiment so it will really accent that and adhere that down. And then I've got a piece of craft cardstock. This is going to be my sandy beach. So I'm going to adhere that down and I dropped my sunflower ink pad on that, but it's going to get covered up in the end, so it's going to be fine. But um, then I have my storm cloud cardstock and this one is going to be my sidewalk or road so I can have my little scooter characters on there. So then I'll bring in my images and I'm going to start with the two scooters. I want to make sure that they're adhered equidistant from one another. So I'm actually going to add the glue to the backs of both of them and adhere them down at once. And that way I can make sure that they both have about the same amount of space on the right and the left and also have a little bit of space between them. Then I can add my critters, so I'm going to add the fox to the teal scooter and just try to make it look like he's holding on to the handlebars there with his little leg kind of kicked up in motion and uh, his tail flying behind in the breeze. And then once I have him set, I will take the bunny so this is supposed to be representing myself and my husband because we absolutely love to travel and our favorite places to go are, you know, those warmer destinations. We live in a kind of cold area here in Northwest Pennsylvania. And so we love to travel down where it's warm, where there's palm trees, where there's a beach. Um, it's just the places that we really love to go and we have so many more kind of Caribbean and just tropical locations that are on our bucket list of places to visit, you know, sometime in the future when travel opens up again. So I've added my two palm trees on either side of my scene just to create a little bit of balance. And then I've got my three coconuts. So I'm going to put one at the base of each of those palm trees. And then the third one, I'm actually going to uh, change where I was going to put it. I was going to put two 
on the side where the bunny is, but I decided to use that to cover up that last little bit of yellow in the center from where I dropped my ink pad. And then I also stamped and die cut a few extra elements just to help fill in the scene. I used the two little birds from Life is Good. I stamped the big one once and the smaller one twice. So I'm going to adhere those to fill in some of that blank space in the center there. So I've got my larger one on the left hand side and then I've got my two smaller ones and I'm gonna have um, those both on the right. I'm just going to uh, try to create a little bit of movement there at the top. I wasn't quite sure where I was going to have that one, but I decided to have it over on the right hand side, ultimately a little bit closer to that sun. And it's actually almost tucked a little bit behind that palm tree to also create a little bit of depth in the scene. And then I also die cut out the little exhaust coming from the scooter just to fill in the outside edges. And for the second one, I just flipped it upside down to create another look and make it go in a different direction. I decided not to add any embellishment since this one was more of a masculine card, but there is an up close look at all of the detail and another peek at the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I post new ones every Monday and Friday. If you're interested in any of the products I used, you'll find them listed and linked in the description bar below. And if you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. You can click on either one to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.